Hello my beautiful American friends. How are you this evening? This beautiful Independence Day evening. I figured before the evening got into mm, July 5th that I'm going to go ahead and make a video because uh, today has been rather busy for me. Um, you might be able to see the grease around my cuticles. I got to give myself a way better scrubbing. But I've uh, been working on uh, a vehicle of ours that was actually the last vehicle running out of all the vehicles on the property. Shows how lazy I've been about uh, uh, getting the vehicles fixed. But uh, yeah, got down to no vehicles. The uh, 2004 Subaru Forester uh, gave out a wheel bearing. So I ordered a bunch of stuff online and... Uh, Thought I had what I needed to get it done. Ended up having to call a friend from down the road. And she ran me into town. And uh, uh, got me some other stuff that I required to get the job done. And uh, I got it done. Finally got to town today. Got myself a six-pack of uh, good craft beer in a can. Uh, Southern Star. Conspiracy IPA, love that beer. Uh, got a bottle of whiskey for myself. And my, after 10 years, might as well call her my wife. I guess common law wife. Um, anyhow, uh, celebration of independence. Now more than ever, you gotta love it. With the way they're trying to strip away our independence and uh, take away the, uh, the, the fact that the government is led by the governed. Remember the, the, the facts about this country, honey. This, uh, th th this place is run by us. We the people, by the people, for the people. Not just a phrase. Not just a lingo that's like, yeah, that's all great, but uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do whatever the government says. When I went to town, I hadn't been in town for, uh, well, a while, especially since the, the latest thing. I couldn't get into any store without a face mask. I had to go back to the car, grab a shop rag, hold it over my face in order to be able to go in and buy a, a stupid face mask. When did America turn into a bunch of sissies? The folks around World War II would be laughing us into the curb. And then forcing us to clean the frickin' gutter out while we're down at the curb. Come on now. This is all BS. Yeah, mask this, mask that. Uh, house imprisonment, no house imprisonment. You know what? They're testing us to see how much we'll take. How much of their BS that we will take. Quite frankly, I'm seeing a, a hair. I rarely ever look in the mirror. Ooh, that's a long one. Ooh, there's another one down here. Anyhow, um, yeah. Um, my house arrest? No, screw you. My face mask? I see people walking down the road with a face mask on. How dumb are they? They've given up. They've given up all their rights. They've, they've surrendered their freedom. Thinking that the world is going to get them. If they would understand that this thing lets... 99 plus percent, 99 and a half percent of the people live. That's pretty good frickin' percentages. Anyhow, that stupidity on top of BLM Antifa and uh, the, the new Black National Anthem, which I guess isn't new. From what I understand, it was written... Uh, 
a conglomeration of a couple of brothers. Uh, one brother wrote a poem about uh, Abraham Lincoln's birthday around the year 1900. And then five or so years later, his brother put it to music. I had never heard of a black national anthem. Uh, I follow uh, I follow a few uh, friends of mine that happen to be black. Uh, I'm calling them friends because I feel like I know them, but I don't know them personally. Uh, Branham Tatum. Yeah, uh, I wanted to put Jericho Green last, but uh, uh, my I, I I've been drinking. It's Fourth of July. Of course, I've been drinking. I just dipped into whiskey with uh, uh, this here cup. That, that, that's my whiskey cup. Whiskey and 7-Up. Kentucky bourbon whiskey. Not any other kind of bullshit whiskey. Kentucky bourbon whiskey. But, uh, you know, black folks that have... Their wits about them are saying, I never heard of such a dang thing. And why is the NFL going to play it before the unifying national anthem? Play a, a special national anthem for black folks. Now, I thought that Martin Luther King was, oh, damn, I'm getting long hair. I thought that Martin Luther King wanted everyone to be equal. Today, it seems that uh, the very vocal BLM types, which are, as far as I know, all being run by uh, a very rich, rich white Jewish feller by the name of George Soros, who is nothing but a professional international disruptor of governments, um, that, you know, being equal is equal. No special... God, that's bugging me. Where, where's... I gotta find some scissors. Actually, I need to go. We got a place here in Huntsville now called the... Uh, oh, what's called? The Tune-Up or something. It's a man-grooming grooming place. Get this shit kind of cleaned up. I want to trim it down so my face doesn't look so fat. Anyhow. In my case, said content of character. What kind of character are the people showing that are freaking burning down the towns and ripping off every company that they can find to smash their windows in and put them out of business? What kind of character is that? Bunch of bullshit. And it's supposed to be a pass because their skin color? Because there's more mel melanin in their skin? I'm sorry. I'm old, but I ain't dead. I ain't brain dead. It don't it don't pass the freaking stink test. All this is is chaos to screw shit up before the election. All designed and propped up by I about guarantee you if anyone follows the money, the Democrat National Convention, committee, whatever the fuck their name is, the DNC. Because they don't want to lose power. They hated it when Trump got power. And he wasn't even a freaking swamp creature. They loved it when, uh, when Bush W. was in there. Because he was a swamp creature. He'd bend and mold and do half or three quarters or whatever they wanted. Spent like a goddamn broken slot machine. Trump has been the first thing that's come along. Oh. Actually, Reagan was a bit of a swamp creature. He was already in the, the, the political scene, being a governor of New York and shit, or New York, California. Same difference these days. Um, and, uh, you know, Trump is just truly an outsider that says, hey, I know business. This country is nothing but a big business. Let me go and try to fix stuff. The more he tries to tries to fix, the more the the swamp creatures and the the leftists in government, and I'm kind of leaving out the liberals. 
Liberals and leftists. Kind of two different critters right there. The leftists are flat-out Marxist communists. Liberals kind of still dig America, but, you know, they lean a little bit left. You know, not as far as communism, but anyhow. Um, anyway, the all this bullshit is bullshit. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to get as uh, potty mouth as uh, Jericho Green. That boy speaks his mind, and there is some stuff that comes out of his mouth that uh, he could almost put an X rating on, but uh, it's definitely an R rating, <laughs> I guarantee you. But that boy speaks from his heart, and you gotta love that about the man. He speaks from his heart. He does not observe any kind of political correctness, which, myself... Political correctness. There. I said the F word. Dang it. Jericho brought it out of me. I'm going to have to talk to that boy. He made me say the F word. Anyhow. Happy Independence Day. I love you, America. You are the best people in the world. And let's keep this good nation being a good nation. If we go down the rabbit hole that CNN, MSNBC, and the rest of the news people and the Democrat Party is trying to shove down our throat, we will no longer be the best nation on the planet. We will rank right in there with Monrovia or, you know, maybe competing with South Africa for idealisms or some shit. Not that I don't like South Africa. Been there a couple times. Love it. Love the people. You know, great place. But I wouldn't live there. It's fucked up down there. There I did it again. I better go. The the, the liquor's getting my vocabulary a little liberal. A little liberal? Liberated? Liberal? Lubricated. Let's call it lubricated. I don't want to be seen as liberal. I might be left of the right, you know? But another story, we're 12 and a half minutes in. Going to take a hell of a long time to up upload. Got to go. Love you, America. You American people are the best people that I know of. I've been to a few countries, and there's nobody like you. America is the best. I love you. Now go do some good.